250 Gemstones Culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. We are more than journalism. We are a revolution. Come on, come on, let's kick this door down and let everybody know we up in here. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News TV channel. I am your host, Michael T. Porton. I'm bringing the news to your ass like no other. This is a channel that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. I have another bomb news segment for y'all. But before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell so you know when I am dropping. Also, if you guys like to support the channel, Cash app dollar sign Mike US. Once again, cash app dollar sign Mike US. Show some love to your boy. Man, Donald Trump talking about he's going to ban taxes on overtime work. Yes, if your ass work more than 40 hours at your job, after that 40 hour mark, that's considered overtime and you will not be taxed. We will not be taxed on overtime. Let's look at this shit right here. Let's look, let's look. It's according to NBCnews.com. Trump says he would end all taxes on overtime pay at first post-debate rally. The former president said when workers exceed 40 hours a week, your overtime hours would be tax-free. Look at that. Look at that. I ain't making it up. I'm in the money. I need the money. No. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm about to buy some of this shit. I'm about to buy all of that. Former President Donald Trump said in a campaign rally Thursday that he will eliminate taxes on overtime pay if he wins a second term in November. I'm also announcing that as part of our additional tax cuts, we will end all taxes on overtime, he said, in Tucson, Arizona. That gives people more of an incentive to work. It gives the companies a lot. It's a lot easier to get the people. Trump said when workers are past 40 hours a week, your overtime hours will be tax free. That's a lot of money. The Trump campaign did not immediately respond to requests for details about the plan. After the remarks, Harris campaign called Trump's proposal his latest snake oil sales pitch. No matter how much he lies now, Donald Trump's record and agenda are clear as president. He stole millions of dollars of wages from the workers he purports to represent, said Harris campaign. Harris campaign's spokesperson, Joseph Castillo. The Harris campaign also pointed to a 2019 Trump administration overtime pay rule that replaced a more expensive proposal pushed by the Obama administration. Trump made the overtime tax-free pledge at his first rally since Tuesday's debate. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Since Tuesday's debate against Vice President Kamala Harris, an event that drew more than 67 million viewers, according to Nielsen, a far larger audience than the Arizona crowd to which Trump unveiled his proposal. The 1938 Fair Labor Standards Act created a 40-hour work week and overtime pay standard, as well as the right to minimum wage. The law stipulated that workers covered by the law must get at least 1.5 times higher their regular pay rate for overtime hours. So I learned something new, 1938. Okay, Fair Labor Standards. The Biden administration implemented a rule that summer, that this summer that raised the minimum wage threshold to qualify for time and a half pay, which advocates said is helping improve compensation for lower paid workers. Trump in June called to end taxes on tips with Harris following suit last month. Separately, Harris campaign has pushed for expanding the child tax credit to provide $6,000 tax cut to families with newborn children, according to his website, which adds that Harris is committed to ensuring no one earning less than $400,000 a year will pay more taxes. Woo! Would y'all like my opinion? Would y'all like some of this 250 Gemstones News TV commentary? Well, of course you do. That's why your ass is here. I'm all for it. I don't want to pay more than I have to if I'm working overtime. Wherever I'm at, I got to get that money. More money in my pocket means more financial stability means uh i mean for everybody i i don't know who in their right mind but say you know it's a good idea to give my money away knowing the U united states history on, on how they handle our money and what they do with our money with the wasteful spending and these wars and wasting on shit we don't even need so 
if we're gonna waste some money, this if this is how the Democrats want to play, if they're gonna if we're gonna waste some money, well, let's waste it on the American people. This is a good feeling. They're gonna get more work out of people. People are gonna stay longer because it, it, people are gonna get themselves out of poverty. That's 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 that's. I, I believe this is a great move for America. If you have a brain, you understand how great this is. If you have a brain, now there's still some more details out there. Uh, there's still some more details, according to the article that um, he didn't reveal all the details, but those details are good enough for me. After I work 40, after we work 40, America, that's all of our money. So if you make $20 an hour, let's do some math. If you worked, if, if your normal pay is $20 an hour, So your overtime is 30. Let's say you do 15 hours of overtime. That's $450 extra on your check. $450 on your check. Plus $800. So you only have to pay taxes on the first 40 hours. $800. Cool. But that other overtime, that time and a half, that $30 is all yours. If you work 20 hours of overtime and your base pay is 20 bucks, that's six hundred dollars of tax-free money every week. Let's say you do that every week. Six hundred times four. That's an extra twenty-four hundred dollars tax-free in <clears throat> your bank account. Who would push back against that? Who? I need. I need all of that. I don't know about you. I like that money. I really like money because I know what life is like when you don't have it. It's a miserable existence. You can't do what you want to do. You can't execute how you want to execute. You waste a lot of time. Waste a lot, lot, waste more time chasing the money than actually uh, enjoying the damn money. More money means more time, uh, more investments will ultimately break you out this rat race. That that's what I, anybody trying to get out. Shit, if they keep this up for years to come. People can retire earlier because they got more money now. Now, you still got to do your due diligence. You still got to invest your money. You still got to put your money where, you know, in places where it's going to make you more money. So you're making money while you sleep. But not paying taxes is a good thing for me. I don't like to pay taxes. I'm going to be honest. I know there's a benefit of paying taxes. <clears throat> I'm going to take that back. I like paying taxes knowing that my tax dollars and our tax dollars as American people are going to places and to people who really need it. And those places and people are America, American people in America. That money should come to us first. And it's been proven time and time again. It does not go to the American people first. Look at the last three and a half years. A disaster. An absolute disaster how Americans are getting evicted. Americans are losing their jobs. Illegals are coming over here. Life has been absolute hell for the American people. So when somebody say, Y'all get to keep y'all hard-earned money? Y'all get to keep it? Yeah, what? What? We get to keep that money? We get to keep that money? That's all mine? Sounds good for them. I think that's a win for the American, for the American uh, society, for the American country. We need to get paid. I need my money. I need my money. I need it. I, I don't know about y'all. I like looking good. I like cologne. I, I like all that. And I'm a hard worker. I'm an entrepreneur, so it makes me no difference. I'm gonna get that money, but for the for everybody that's working, you know, we all we all gotta get to work. It's a great feeling no know, knowing that my hard earned money is going to me and not some entity that's just gonna waste it. But y'all flood my comment. What do y'all think about Donald Trump? What do y'all think about Donald Trump? Not taxing the American people on their overtime hours worked. Two five oh capital G. I'm gone.